Hi everyone. So um, in today's lesson, we are going to use uh, the textbook as well, yeah? The textbook Pulse 2. And we are currently at Unit 9 um, with the title of Take Care. <clears throat> now I need you to turn to page 95, okay? So look at this text, okay? This text on cyberbullying. Okay, so today we are going to discuss this, uh, this text on cyberbullying together. Okay, so along the way, uh, you will have to write the vocabulary in your book. <clears throat> so now get ready with your, with your textbook. Go to page 95, okay? Okay, so ready? Okay, let's start the lesson. Cyberbullying and how to deal with it. Okay, deal with means menguruskan. Okay, so you deal with cyberbullying. Maksudnya, macam mana nak menguruskan masalah cyberbullying? Macam mana nak menyelesaikan? Menyelesaikan masalah cyberbullying. Okay. Someone is sending you nasty messages or posting rude comments about you on the internet. Okay, nasty messages. Nasty means bad. Nasty messages, maksudnya message yang tak bagus. <clears throat> Should you ignore them or do something about it? Ignore them. Ignore means you do not care about it. You do not care about something, okay? Tak pendulikan sesuatu. Ignore. Should you ignore them? Patutkah anda... Uh, tak pendulikan dia. Should you ignore them or do something about it? Do you need advice about what to do? Advice, maksudnya nasihat. <coughs> Read these five tips. Okay, so in this article, there are five tips on how to deal with cyberbullying. Ada lima tips tentang macam mana nak menyelesaikan masalah cyberbullying. Okay, the first tip, <coughs> don't reply. <coughs> okay, jangan balas. It means that when someone sent you a nasty message, don't reply, okay? <coughs> Bullies love it when they get a reaction. A reaction, maksudnya tidak balas. So when you give the bullies a reaction, they actually love it. So, don't let them know they are causing you stress. Okay. Next, uh, tip number two, okay. Block, block the horrible messages. <clears throat> the best thing to do is to avoid all electronic communication so the bully can't get through you. Okay, avoid. Avoid masuk dia elak. Elakkan semua electronic communication. So the bully, orang yang bully, maksudnya the bully, can't get through to you. Okay, so this is a good phrase here, yeah? Get through to you means contact you. So when someone send you a bad message online, you just block that person so that he cannot contact you. He cannot get through to you. Okay, next. If you really can't live without using your phone or social networking site, use filters to block the unkind messages. If someone bullies you in a chat room, don't get into an argument with them. Okay, get into an argument. Okay, maksudnya quarrel atau dalam bahasa Melayu gado. So, don't get into an argument with them. It means that don't quarrel with them. Jangan gaduh dengan mereka. <coughs> you should report the messages to the chat room moderator. Okay, so the chat room moderator, maksudnya admin, okay? Orang-orang yang, orang tertentu yang, uh, yang kawal, chat room itulah admin okay I, i know i know you i suppose you understand the term admin okay <clears throat> continue 
Tip number three. Talk to someone. You mustn't try to deal with the problem on your own. <coughs> on your own means by yourself. Okay, dengan diri sendiri. Okay. Ask for help from your parents, a teacher, or another adult you can trust. Some victims of cyberbullying feel the problem is their fault, and they delay getting help. Delay means that you you melambatkan sesuatu. Okay, you don't uh, do something immediately. Okay. Maksudnya, you delay. So, they delay getting help. Delay getting help, maksudnya, tak mendapatkan bantuan dengan segera. Okay? You don't have to put up with the bullying. And the sooner the bully knows this, the better. Put up with. <coughs> put up with, maksudnya, sabar. Okay, sabar. So, you don't have to. Kamu tak perlu. Put up with the bully. Tak perlu sabar dengan bully. Okay? And the, the sooner the bully knows this, the better. Number four. Save the evidence. Okay. Evidence maksudnya bukti. Bukti. Okay. So, kena simpan bukti. Save the evidence. If you have been the victim of online bullying, then you have probably got written proof of it. Okay, written proof. Written proof. Maksudnya, bukti tulisan. It means that if when someone bully you online, okay, normally they will write something bad about you. Okay, so they are words. Okay, they are bad words. Too. Okay, benda-benda yang mereka tulis itu adalah bukti tulisan. Written proof. So then you have probably got written proof of it. You can save the messages, print them out, and show them to someone who will take action to stop it. It might be your teacher or even the police. Okay, number uh, tip number five. Yeah, go to the last tip now. Help the victims of cyberbullying. Don't encourage cyber bullies, as this will make the problem worse. Okay, make the problem worse. Maksudnya, uh, menjadikan masalah itu, masalah itu lagi teruk. Oh dear. Ma ma lagi teruk. Hold on. So, menjadikan masalah itu lagi teruk. Make the problem worse. You shouldn't be afraid to report the bullies if they continue sending hurtful messages to someone you know. Okay, so now we have got a few similar terms here, yeah? Messages, nasty messages, horrible messages, hurtful messages, okay? So, these three terms, actually, they mean the same. Maksudnya, message yang tak begitu baik. Nasty messages. Message yang tak bagus. Horrible messages. Messages yang tak bagus. Hurtful messages. Message yang menyakitkan hati. So, maksudnya, message yang tak bagus, tak bagus juga. Okay, so now we have already finished discussing the, the text. Okay, the text on cyberbullying. And how... To deal with it. Okay, now I need you to uh, hold on. I need you to complete this section, uh, question number three. Okay, and then finish all of the questions here. And after that, um, okay, that's all. For you only have to finish question number three, and I will make another video on uh, the, on a discussion on question number three uh, for you in a while. Okay, so all you have to do. All you have to do now is to write the vocabulary in book one, buku satu, buku comprehension and writing. After that, you will have to complete the exercise, okay? Buat soalan ketiga dalam buku satu, buku comprehension dan writing juga. Okay, that's all for today. 
I see you in the next lesson.